Saibrant Jakubas Ludovicus van Schuer, born in 1951, is known as the Apartheid Killer, or the Dum Dum Killer. Louis van Schuer is a former policeman and security guard who committed murders between 1986 and 1989. He was convicted of seven murders and two assassinations. However, in an interview, he did not deny murdering more than a hundred people. Van Schuer, a former member of the K-9 unit and security guard, made headlines worldwide when suspicion arose that he allegedly killed 39 people. His modus operandi was the same every time. He responded to silent alarms of businesses, then shot suspects with his 9mm parabellum as many as 8 to 10 times. Van Square stated that he was merely doing his job, as he thought was right at the time, a time when the law allowed one to shoot a fleeing suspect in self-defense. He called these killings, quote-unquote, incidents. After each incident, he would then phone the police to come to the scene, and if the victim survived, he would be arrested. If deceased, the killing would occasion only an inquest hearing. Magistrates found that he had acted within the law, he was not once cautioned by the police or the courts. When Van Square's shooting career eventually came to public attention, lurid accounts emerged of a huge bearded figure prowling dark buildings and firing repeatedly at cowering suspects who were often unarmed and sometimes shot in the back as they fled. In the way of South African society at the time, these so-called intruders were black and the authorities were white a racial divide that goes a long way to explain how a security guard could get to shoot so many people without raising an eyebrow. Van Square stated that the security company that he owned at the time was responsible for policing seven out of ten businesses in East London, and that it was his job to deter intruders. One of the stranger aspects of Van Square's tale, which unfolded when the country began taking its first steps towards negotiations and the demise of apartheid, was his confiding in journalists about his ever-rising death toll, once he allegedly confessed to a journalist, having shot more than a hundred people between 1986 and 1989, when he was active as a security guard. But when Van Square was brought to trial in the dying days of apartheid, he had more than a little support in his hometown. Cars sported I Love Louis stickers illustrated with a black heart pierced by bullets. Today, Van Square winces at the mention of these stickers and the racial polarization that they expressed. He says he has no time for racism, and that his experience in prison has made him more adamant that racial difference is irrelevant. People are people. Experts still debate over whether Van Square should be classified as a mass murderer or a serial killer. However, the killer himself rejects both of these labels. Van Square stated, That is very far from the truth. I was a crime fighter. Every solved murder story has a detective hero. In this case, it was journalist Patrick Goodenough who investigated rumors about Van Square after initially regarding them as too outlandish to be true. What Goodenough and a colleague of his, Dominic Jones, gradually gathered from inquest files, court records, interviews with the survivors, and interviews with residents of East London was a chilling dossier of carnage. Goodenough allegedly battled to get the story into print in the face of disbelieving editors. Eventually, the story of East London's alleged vigilante security guard made it to the front page of the Sunday Tribune. What the white justice system viewed as no more than an efficient security guard, the wider world saw very differently. The publicity led to more people coming forward with more chilling accounts. It was claimed that Van Square dragged his victims into deserted premises and then shot them. However, he would later deny these allegations. In the end, Van Square was charged with 19 counts of murder and 21 counts of attempted murder. He was ultimately convicted of seven murders and two attempted murders. The law was changed to prevent similar shootings by security personnel. Upon his release, 12 years, 4 months, and 13 days later in late 2004, Van Square said that he had found God and expressed sorrow to his victim's relatives. Louis' apology read as follows, quote, I apologize if any of my actions caused them hurt." End quote. One of Van Square's last acts before leaving prison was to bid farewell to his daughter, Sabrina, serving a 25-year sentence for hiring a killer to murder her mother, Beverly. Sabrina's defense was that her mother kept her prisoner to prevent her mixing with colored and black friends. 
Sabrina astonished everyone by declaring that she wanted her father to look after a mixed-race child, who was in the custody of the state and said to be very happy in a foster home. Sabrina's half-brothers have rejected the child, but Fonsquer says that the color of his grandchild makes no difference. He hopes to get to know the little girl, but he will not be making a bid to take her away from her foster family. Fonsquer continues to proclaim, quote, I am not a killer. I called the police after each encounter, end quote. Until next time.